Yes, dear? I... I can't sleep. Can you tell me a story? Okay, but you'll have to help me. Okay. Our story begins in a dark and twisting forest. <gasps> dark and twisting forest? And there was a young girl searching for... Her lost pet! Patches? Patches! And she found a house. <laughs> and then what happened? She must have snuck through here, but it's locked. Look, a key! Patches loves hiding under beds, but she's not under this one. Oh, we're going to be late again. Climbing down, the girl's footing slip as the ladder gives way. She begins a seemingly endless fall. Down, down, down she goes. What is happening? The fall was so long, she began to forget where she was, or even who where she was. Where was I going? What was I doing? I, I can't even remember anymore. But at last, she spots a letter swirling past her, just out of reach. We'll return to that in a moment, but first I must call your attention to this lovely root. It beckons you to grab it. Well done. Oh, look, it has a friend. Good. The roots are pleased. Oh, just one more invitation. Now, where is it hiding? Oh, it was right under my nose the whole time. Oh, finally done. Oh, holy carrots! Oh. What did you do? My invitations! Where did they all go? Rabbit paperwork? Am I dreaming? Since when can rabbits read books? I guess this is his rabbit family? My wife is gonna have my carrots! The last time this happened, she murdered 37 of our children! Your wife? No! The Queen, of course! There's a queen that murders rabbits? The most heartless queen of hearts the world has ever known! She'll chop the head off of anyone she doesn't like! And those invitations you crashed into were for her party! Wait, hold on. How are you talking? I'm not talking. I'm yelling! Do you understand what you've done? Oh, the queen will be furious! Calm down. I'm sure she'll understand. I'm sure your invitations are around here somewhere. Somewhere? I don't have time for somewhere! I need to find those invitations! Wait, where are you going? As she enters the sitting room, the girl spots a curious painting on the wall. Approaching the painting, her memory starts to return. In that very moment, she recalls that her pet, Patches, was a... Patches was a cat. Of course. Patches was always a cat, rescued from the fire that had nearly burned her village down. How could she ever forget?
Wow. Rabbits sure do have a lot of children. How does a rabbit even get to those top shelves? There's one of the Queen's invitations! Since when can rabbits read books? paperwork. Am I dreaming? This place has a lot of crappy mirrors. Have you seen a cat in here? Actually, a cat just stuck in through the crack below their door. But that doesn't matter now. I'm doomed! I've looked all over and I haven't found a single invitation. No, you caused this whole mess. Now you need to help me out. How? Find those invitations and get them to the Hatter in the Keep of Hearts. They're probably all right past this door. Uh, there's <clears throat> only one problem. What's that? I've... Never seen it open. But you seem to be good at going places where you don't belong. I'm sure you can figure it out.
or, well, something did. The door is finally open. Now, go find those invitations. Why can't you do it? Did you see how many baby bunnies I have to keep alive? Remember, the Hatter at the Keep of Hearts. Patches, are you in here? Got another. Off in the distance, the girl could hear a voice mutter, I'm hungry. An even bigger clock. Uh-huh. Another party invitation. That is the, the strangest sandwich continues. I've ever seen. I sure am hungry. The voice then clearly states, I wish the clock hands were at lunchtime so I can come up to eat. You should really move the clock hands to lunchtime. I think that'd be a good idea. One of the White Rabbit's invitations. Off in the distance, the girl could hear a voice mutter, I'm hungry. The far off voice continues, I sure am hungry. The voice then clearly states, I wish the clock hands were at lunchtime so I can come up to eat. You should that really move the, the clock hands to lunchtime. That is the sandwich I've ever seen. I think that'd be a good idea.
Uh huh. Another party invitation. That is the strangest sandwich I've ever seen. Rabbit Dad and a Mouse Clocksmith. What's next? A fish playing the tuba? That is the strangest sandwich I've ever seen. Patches! Are you down here? And now I'm inside a giant clock. No one's ever going to believe this. This crack is too narrow. I can't squeeze through there. As the girl exits the foot of the clock, she finds herself in a dimly lit glade. Up ahead, an argument is taking place. This is our campfire, you repulsive, disgraceful half. Oh, gee, I was just asking for directions. <laughs> the Queen of Hearts said that you're the reason there hasn't been a party here in days. And if the Queen said it, it must be true. So it's your fault, half. Yeah. Now, where was I before we were so rudely interrupted? Hey, are you okay? Oh, I really want to deck that guy. He's been a real pain in my ace. What were you guys arguing about? Well, you see, I'm what's known as a half. A four and a half, to be exact. My mom was a five, and my pop was a four, and, well, you can do the math. Anyhow, ever since the Queen of Hearts took over this place, she's been turning everyone against us halves. Every problem is our fault. Taxes go up, blame the halves. Cloudy sky, that's our fault too. Next thing you know, she'll be blaming us for her dumb cat running away. It's got to the point where I don't have a single friend anymore. But... Hey, you seem nice. Do you want to be my friend? No, thanks. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I just want to find my pet and get back home. I'm going to be late for something. I'm having a hard time remembering. Ah, yes. We were discussing my brilliant plan to win over the affections of the Queen of Hearts. The one where you marry her? 
Is there any other? Ever since I was a young boy, I would spend hours gazing at her poster on my wall. For I am the one and only member of her fan club, and she is my one and only love. Yeah! Excuse me, have you seen a cat? I thought I told- Oh, you're not that half. But you're still interrupting. Can't you see we're busy? Hey, sorry to bother you with this, but my pet Patches ran away. Have you seen her here? Your pet? It wasn't this rabbit, was it? It fell from the sky. <laughs> pet barbecue. Yeah! Uh, no. Patches is a... You know what? Never mind. I'll keep looking. Now, back to the matter at hand. Yes. Yes. I will become a king. Truly then, the queen will realize we are destined to be together. Be a king? How are you gonna do that? Just leave that to me. This place has a lot of crappy mirrors. One less left to find. At least the lights are on. Maybe someone's seen patches in here. Someone really went through the effort to cut this into a heart. Hello? Is anyone here? big book of suspiciously small recipes. No time, no time. More tarts, way more tarts. Queen will have my head, need my head. More, more. King need more, always more. Finally some help. Really need help. Add something that can't drown. No! Something brown. Okay, okay, now. Yes, yes, just a little animal. No, vegetable. No, mineral. Keep going, can't stop. Next, something hot. No, good for you. That'll do. Last, anything else? No, nothing more. Now, whatever you do, do not eat. No! Are you mad? This is bad! Oh no! What's happening? Hey, uh, well, shuffle me sideways. It sure looks like you're in a pickle. I'm really stuck. Can you help me get smaller? That sounds like a job for a friend. So if I do that for you, then it means we'll just have to be friends. 
right? I guess? Just drop the ingredients through the chimney into this pot. All right. I'll go see what I can find. I'll be back in the shuffle. Ah, a recipe. The words are too big to read, but I think I recognize some of the pictures. I should search the full house, maybe even the full outside. Apple, check. <laughs> the ugly half is back. Yeah. Is that all your friend can say? Shut up, half. Yeah. What do you want? Can't have it, half. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Don't want it? Well, take it then. Idiot! Yeah! Now make like a tree and get out of here! Fine. One roast rabbit. Strangely, it's been practically raining bunnies lately. Fish tree. <clears throat> There's a, a a fish in this tree. Okay, I think I found all of the ingredients to something. Go ahead and try it. With the girl returned to normal size, she and the four and a half of spades agreed to continue on their journey together.
must feed the king. Baking. Cooking. Are you okay? I'm so sorry about all that. Need a break. Need to get well. Ask her about your pet. Maybe she cooked it. I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Have you seen a cat come through? Well, not well. It went in the well. Into the one over there? Are you sure? No more cake. I need a break. Lemon zest. I have to rest. <sighs> One more for the Hatter. At the base of the ladder, the girl discovered a small cave full of colorful light. It was at that point the girl recalled her favorite color, which was... Blue! Yes, blue, like the color of the cloak that her grandmother gave her. How could she ever forget? What's this place? How many mirrors are too many, I wonder? This mirror isn't much of a mirror at all. Oh, an invitation! This mirror isn't much of a mirror at all. This place has a lot of crappy mirrors. Hello, reflection. This mirror isn't much of a mirror. Hello, reflection. <sighs> nope. Oh. Um. <clears throat> what? Oh, uh, hello there. You're a a giant talking smoking caterpillar. Oh, I know who I am, and I'm also the Guardian of Mirrors. But who are you? I'm... oh. Huh, I actually don't remember. I don't even remember my name anymore. Ah, so you are here to have your path enlightened by my infinite wisdom. No, not really. I'm just trying to find my pet cat, Patches. Ah, a cat. The most celestial of animals. I'm not entirely sure you should be smoking that. A pet fit for a queen, if ever there was one. Actually, what were you saying about the mirrors? I'm sure you'll work crystals into this somehow. To traverse the crystal mirrors, you must align your chakras. Hippie bingo! Then, looking into the mirror, project your very being into the past. But I need to find patches before I get out of here. The White Rabbit said the Queen is having a party, but the invitations got all... well, all over the place. I found some, though. The Queen of Hearts sure loves her parties. Invitations to those are very valuable. You should make sure you can find as many as you can. Now leave me to my mediation. Don't you mean meditation? Yes, yes, whatever. 
I believe your spiritual journey should now take you out of my cave. So, first we're right side up, and then we're upside down, and then we're right side upside down. I've given up on knowing what to expect here. Oh, one of the White Rabbit's invitations. This place... It's beautiful. Wait, isn't that your pet Patches? Patches, there you are. But how are you on the other side? But how in the deck do we get there? Over there. Maybe that mirror can help? He looks hot! I'm not jumping into that! Oh, an invitation! Walking among the teacups and saucers, another memory returned. At last, she could remember her own name. My name is... Ellie. Yes, Ellie, after her grandmother's friend, who was always deathly afraid of patches. How could she ever forget? One more for the Hatter. Oh, I can't get through this crack. Well, aren't you lucky you have a flat? Ta da! Hmm.
Wait a second. How are you in the water now? But you're also in the water. How can we both be in the water at the same time? Let's see if we can figure out this rope. Give me a hand. Hmm. <laughs> that was fun. Whoa, now I'm up in a cloud. Or down in a cloud? I have no idea where you are right now, but see if you can keep up. Sure, I can follow your voice. Teapot made a cloud. Hmm. Hey. Huh. There's no boiling hot tea hmm. in this side. Maybe I can go for a ride. Look! <laughs> it's like I'm in a boat! Do clouds normally have doors? I haven't been in clouds much before. Ah! 
I'm over here now. I hear you. Guess who found patches? There you are! Gotcha! Patches! Wait, was that you? And what do we have here? Oh, terrible news! It's the Queen of Hearts! That animal! Take it! It'll do much better than that insolent, disobedient, purple beast! Hey! That's not yours to take! How dare you speak to me! A half, no less. Filthy fractions, ruining what used to be a wonderland. My wonderland! No matter. Off with his head! No, please don't! Four half! Halves. Always taking things that aren't theirs. Get the pet. Now to deal with my idiot of a king. Four half. I, I am so sorry. Huh? Sorry for what? What the. Oh! <laughs> this happens all the time. There we go. All patched up. Patched up? Oh, yeah, patches. Should we follow them? Uh, yeah. Now I can see through the mirror. It's where I was before.
Uh-oh. I can't get through this crack. Well, aren't you lucky you have a flat friend? That was fun!
I'm not leaving without you. Hey. Hmm. I'm not leaving without you. I'm not leaving without you. Hey. Spirits intertwine again. You may now return to the Mirror Realm whenever you wish. But undoubtedly, you wish to pursue the Queen. She has most likely returned to her home. To travel there, you will need to pass through the forest of many cats. Let your psyche flow through the tunnel to my right, for there... The thirst of your soul will be quenched. You look lost. A talking cat. Now I've seen everything. Which way are you going? Well, um, we're looking for the Queen of Hearts. Ah, I am sad to inform you that you won't find her here. I would know. I was her royal pet for as long as I can remember. Oh, how she would try and try to have my head. Time and time again. And a head without a cat is as good as a girl without a past. Why do you want to meet her, if I may ask? We already met her, actually. She chopped the head off for half here. I got better. And then she took my pet cat, Patches. Oh, that seems concerning indeed. She's not great with pets. It's quite important she gets distracted with something else. Or chop chop. Does her party count as a distraction? Oh, it certainly does. The Queen of Hearts loves parties. A little too much, perhaps. But mind you, if the guests don't show up, she gets furious. I have some of the invitations, actually. I think I'm supposed to give them to the Hatter. Oh, excellent. The more you have, the more guests the Hatter can let in. And the more guests that are there, the more people you'll have on your side. So, how do I find her? If you want to get through this place, you'll need to seek the favor of the Butterfly Nobles. Do either of you speak Butterfly? I do! I had a Butterfly Nanny growing up. Good. There are four Butterfly Lords and Ladies that form the Council. You'll need to find them all to get through the forest. Lucky for you, one is resting right over there. That is Steve, the bravest of the Butterfly Lords. He also looks a little lost, but don't mind him, he's just a little slow. Hi, Steve. Hop over to that toast flower and I'll find the rest of your butterfly friends. Only three more left to go. A narrow passage. I love these. Four half. I think I'm stuck down here. 
with a big domino. <sighs> Hold tight. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. This one doesn't work yet. What's that noise? The domino just moved! Great! Hey! This place creeps me out. It's like a maze. I'm not leaving without you. Please don't! There's two bells over here. A few more dominoes moved, but we should find each other before we leave. The girl and four half really wanted to find each other before they leave this maze. Okay, I'm still down here. Uh, great, Somewhere. I found you. Is it me, or are we getting smaller? Or maybe the world is getting bigger. are. You're halfway there.
One of the White Rabbit's invitations. Watch your step. You're pretty high up. Thanks for... Ahem. <clears throat> and a half. Oh, an invitation. Ah, you again. <laughs> Look, 
that half is back. As you can see, I have become a king. I can, um, see that. He has one of the butterflies right there. Have you come to bring tribute? We're here because we kind of need that butterfly you have there. Can't have it, stupid half-friend. Tony is the master visionary behind this most glorious castle and shall remain by my side. Yeah. You know this isn't a castle, right? Of course it is. Where else would a king live? But, but... Butterfly Tony said it's a castle. Yeah. Look, I just need to get to the Queen of Hearts to get my pet back. What? The Queen is mine, my wife-to-be. I am clearly a very real king, and shall not be questioned by halves or their city friends. Super legit king, for sure. Yeah! Look, there's even a giant pine cone over there. They don't grow in castles, you know. What? That's... Ugh. But... Castles are made of marble and gold, not leaves and bark. Tony, you scheming butterfool. You assured me this was a castle. Hey, Tony. Not cool. He claimed to have architectural prowess. But now I realize I'm living in a tree. Get this bluffing bug out of my sight. Luckily, I have a backup plan. Get Tony and let's get out of here. Let's go, Tony. Just one butterfly noble remains.
how did an invitation end up here? Look, more dominoes. Red this time. Do you think they're angry? Like the Queen of Hearts. I can hear a butterfly behind them. Fly. Ew, a skeleton! Hey, you don't think that butterfly could have... Well, the cat did say they were up to the no good. The butterfly castle has been reassembled. Let's see what they do. Be Babu. Wait, are we here yet again? But the caterpillar is gone! Returning to the room she had been so many times before. This time it was colder, darker. Something was missing. It was at that moment the girl was reminded of a great loss. Her grandmother was gone. And, and we all miss her so dearly. What was the most important lesson she had taught her? Wisdom. How knowledge and opinion are nothing without empathy and understanding. Remembering those wise words, making sense of this world, suddenly felt a little more within her reach. After hearing of the girl's loss, the Butterfly Council was eager to assist in any way they could. They would help her continue her journey. Well, all of them except Steve. 
Steve the Butterfly Lord had told the others he was too busy learning to do a barrel roll. King Thutface is finally out of tarts. If it gets any bigger, there won't be any more castle left to live in. Oh, he is such an embarrassment. And he's all people are ever looking at. Taking all of the attention away from me. No, that absolutely won't do. I am the queen. This is my wonderland. He has to go. Go lock this thing up in the royal pet chamber, and make sure this one doesn't escape this time. A queen without a pet is so... It is dark as deck in here! Excuse me, can I ask you something? Hey, listen up, young lady. I only take orders from the foreman, you hear me? Excuse me, can I ask you something? Ah, no, sorry. No time for chitty chatty with you. Hmm, seems locked. One less left to find. So, we meet again. Do you seek an audience with the King of Spades in his castle? What the carrots happened to the Keep of Spades? Oh, that. I swear. It was all like this before I arrived. Tis truly a shame what happened. There was a convention of fours going on. All of the fours in Wonderland, trapped inside. Not a single one survived. Not that I would know anything about it. But the greatest pity of it all is that the rest of these workers are completely lost without a single foreman left to lead them. But for half, you're a four. And a ha- Oh, wait. Uh, I am a four. I can be the foreman! Do you know how we can get into the Keep of Hearts? Well, now that I have a proper castle, surely the queen will declare her devotion to me. For I am the king of the Keep of Spades, and she is my one and only love. But lastly, I need a gift worthy of her grace and beauty. I have searched high and low, and I have come to realize there is only one thing suitable. That red heart balloon. Right over there. Balloon? Where? Right over there, stuck in the garden of the Keep of Diamonds. Can't you just get it yourself? As a member of high society, it would be beneath my dignity to get it myself. But you seem to lack dignity. You can get it for me. And afterwards, I will help you enter the Keep of Hearts. Okay, four and a half man. We need to go get that balloon. I'll go wait by that gate. It looks like it's locked, but you can probably find a way in. How can you see that from here? I think it's because I actually have eyes. Oh, right. Okay, I'll go get to Four Manning. Yep, the gate's locked. But there's a sewer opening on the other side. I need you to chop something down. Follow me. What are your orders, Foreman? Remember, the Union won't let me cut down any trees that aren't black and club-shaped. Oh yeah, that's my thing. I'll fix it. My ex has been waiting for this. 
I need you to go scissor something. Follow me. You need red hearts? Where? You need to show me you. I'm the hearts trimmer, you buffoon. Don't drag me out here for nothing. I'm the hearts trimmer, you buffoon. Don't drag me out here for nothing. I'm the hearts trimmer, you buffoon. Don't drag- Okay, I fix, I fix. I need you to go scissor something. Follow me. Need a tree cut in a club's foreman. It's my favorite shape. All right, I'm on it. Stand back and watch a professional go to work, okay? I need you to chop something down. Follow me. What are your orders, foreman? Remember, the union won't let me go. Oh, yeah, that's my thing. I'll fix it. My ex has been waiting for this. The exit should be straight. Oh, oh. Oh, hey, a map. I need you to chop something down. Follow me. And uh, hello, what do you got for me? Any red hot trees for me to cut down? Good job, foreman. Now we just need to cut down this tree. Bellissimo! Make it I fix for you. Uno momento. I need you to go scissor something. Follow me. You need red hearts? Where? You need to show me you know. Okay, I fix, I fix. 
I need you to go scissor something. Follow me. Need a tree cut in a club's foreman. It's my favorite shape. All right, I'm on it. Stand back and watch a professional go to work, okay? I need you to go scissor something. Follow me. You need red hearts? Where? You need to show me you know. Okay, I fix, I fix. I need you to chop something down. Follow me. And uh, hello, what do you got for? Bellissimo, I fix for you. Uno momento. I need you to go paint something. Follow me. Should I paint something black? It's the best color, you know. But Mr. Foreman, dude, this tree is like... Totally black already. Here, but not further. I get it. I need you to chop something down. Follow me! And uh, hello, what do you got for me? Any red hot trees for me to cut down? Bellissimo, I fix for you. Uno momento. I need you to chop something down. Follow me. And uh, hello, what do you got for me? Any red hot trees? Oh, no, no, no. Scusa. My contract no cover working in the garden of clubs at all. You uh, have to find someone else, yes? I need you to go scissor something. Follow me. Need a tree cut in a club's foreman. It's my... All right, I'm on it. Stand back and watch a professional go to work, okay? I need you to go scissor something. All right, follow me. Stand back and watch a professional go to work, okay? I need you to go paint something. Follow me. Should I paint something black? It's the best color, you know. Yeah, sure, I guess I can do that. I need you to go paint something. Follow yeah, me. Yeah, sure, I guess I can do that. I need you to chop something down. Follow me. What are your orders, Foreman? Remember, the Union won't let me cut down any trees that aren't black and clo- Oh yeah, that's my thing. I'll fix it. My ex has been waiting for this. I need you to chop something down. Follow me. Oh yeah, that's my thing. I'll fix it. My ex has been waiting for this. I need you to chop something down. Follow me. I was brought into this world for one purpose only. To eradicate everything checkered. Show me the path to glory, Foreman. As you command. I need you to chop something down. Follow me. I was brought into this world for one purpose only. To eradicate everything checkered. As you command. I need you to go paint something. Follow me. I'll paint anything red for you, Foreman. All 
Ah, oui, I will paint it. I need you to go scissors something. Follow me. You need red hearts? Where? Okay, I fix, I fix. I need you to chop something down. Follow me. And uh, hello, what do you got for me? Bellissimo, I fix for you. Uno momento. This balloon, it's got some pep. Hey, over here. I have an idea. Carrots, that weird king. You take this to the top of the Queen's castle, and I'll see what I can do on the ground with these workers. You go first, then I'll follow suit. Are you sure you'll be safe, for half? With you as my friend, I'm incontrivable. Now go get patches. On it. Holding on for life and limb, the girl was swept away by the balloon to the tallest tower of the Keep of Hearts. I don't think I've ever seen someone so big. What happened to you? Need more tarts. What? Need more tarts. You need more torts? Tarts. Tarts. Oh, tarts. None so hungry. Don't you think you've had enough already? Okay, then. Oh, an invitation. It's dangerous to go alone. I'll just take this. Sorry, big king. Now there's a royal flush if I've ever seen one. How did an invitation? 
invitation end up here? I can't use this one yet. Patches hates feet, especially big ones. I should go find her. Patches hates feet, especially big ones. I should go find her. Ooh, a hidden bookcase door. That's a classic. Patches, what are you doing up there? She better not have hurt you. One of the White Rabbit's invitations. Got another.
for half. What are you doing over there? Well, I uh, never knew this, but it turns out if you just act like you belong somewhere, most people don't bother to question it. So, here I am on the throne. After bossing all of those other people around, I'm pretty sure I'm a natural. The queen's outside having a fit over something. That hatter seems to know about it. He says he's been waiting for you. One more for the Hatter.
Uh-oh. I can't get through this crack. Well, aren't you lucky you have a flat friend? Nope, not that way.
The White Rabbit told me about you. Did you bring the invitations? All I could find. Ah, I see you found most of the invitations. This party will be large indeed. Feel free to look for more if you want. I'll be waiting here for whenever you're ready. I've got nowhere else to be. It was a splendidly adequate party. The Queen of Hearts was perched at the center of the banquet table, awaiting the girl. She grew from the stew. Baby rabbit drink made her shrink. said something about baby rabbit stew? I've only heard of this recipe in the large book of suspiciously small recipes. You haven't been growing and shrinking, have you? How marvelously mediocre this party is. Best not smile or frown might change the mood. No, I should probably just drink tea and put on my most average of faces. <laughs> Oh, wait, Shh, no laughter. You've come quite a long way. And I see you've taken back the pet that I took from you. That you may or may not have stolen from someone else. Now, tell me. How does this story end? I just want to go home. Well, good riddance. A girl who wanders into places she doesn't belong isn't welcome here anyhow. But be aware, my dear. There's a war coming. One between halves and half-knots. And you'll need to decide which side you're on. Halves? Um, what? Halves. I'm on the side of the halves. Uh, you should really think it over. Nope. You're wrong. The halves are just as fine as the rest of us. What? Well, um... I'm out, and I'm taking Patches with me. The end. Wow. Ellie made it back. What a story, huh? <laughs> what a story. Now that she is back home, she gets to spend all day, every day, just playing and cuddling with Patches. No more Wonderland. No more adventures. No more four half and and all her other new friends makes you wonder if we made the right choice in the end hmm i guess <gasps> should we go back <laughs> well that would make it a totally different story let's try that another time okay hey time for bed now my little storyteller Okay, but I'm going to think of another story about Wonderland before I go to sleep. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing that one tomorrow then. Good night, Grandpa. Sweet dreams.